Hello, and welcome to Voices Unleashed, where we celebrate singers and their influence on our community. My name is Alexandra Babel, and I'm your host for these episodes, and I am so excited to let you know all about this wonderful group of young people. The band is called Freeze to Fall. Freeze the fall. Freeze <laughs> the go. fall. And I'm going to ask them about what this means. We have Quinn and Aria and Jonah with us. Thank you guys for being here today. Thank you for Thank having you so us. Yeah. I think this is so much fun. So first <laughs> yes. of all, you know that I'm the classical musician and I am outside of my sphere of understanding. So the first question I have, and let's hit you with it. <laughs> What's the title of the band all about? Freeze the fall. Um, there's actually not really some like crazy story behind it. We really just, we knew like we wanted like a name for our band that was kind of like creepy because we really like horror movies and something that was like, I don't know. I see. We wanted something icy. I don't know. Yeah. We literally just like put some words together, freeze the fall, and it sounded pretty cool. So it does sound pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. what, what I imagined was some still life moment of somebody jumping off a building and then freeze the fall. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you go. And there they are in the middle of the air, and we don't know what's next. Yeah. <gasps> Cliffhanger. But we want to know from dot, you dot, guys dot. what's next. <laughs> so hit us with what's next. What's next? Okay, well, we just released our debut EP, Thrones. So That's cool. Yeah, and we're about to go into the studio in about two-ish two weeks, weeks yeah. to make some more music. We are so excited that you guys have <laughs> devoted your lives to music. I think you started out as a classical musician, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. Tell us all the way back there and how you guys evolved into this group. Okay, like the beginning of my story? Yeah, your okay. story. Okay, so I've been, if we're talking about singing, mm -hmm. I've been singing for 10 years. I started singing lessons when I was seven years old. And yeah, I started out with classical. You know, I had my like classical, like my exam books and mm -hmm. all of that. And then when I was about 11 years old, I was introduced to rock and metal music. And I just loved the energy that that carried. Mm -hmm. And then over time, you know, I met Aria and Jonah, who also carried this this passion for this right. energetic music. Right. And then we were like, let's make a band. Well, that's <laughs> What I recognized when I was listening to the clips is that you are a rock singer, as it were, but you are not doing anything to damage your voice. And yes. often I will end up in my studio with people who are like, oh, my throat hurts so bad. And can you help me with that? And so I love that you started that way. You preemptively avoided all of that kind of damage that could happen. Yeah. Voices can get fatigued. They can start with these cysts and nodes. Some people have to get surgery. It's terrible. And sometimes that surgery doesn't work and they are not singers at all anymore. So I'm so grateful to you for having done it that way or your parents or yeah. the gods or whoever, <laughs> whoever. whoever made it work that way because I don't hear any damage. Yeah. And that's exciting. You're also using your belly, which is incredible. And and a lot of singers who are untrained tend to be tense here. Yes. But I don't see that in your singing. It's yeah. amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, I've worked a lot on that. And I think sometimes people forget that it is like a muscle too. Like you can think of it as like, if you say you're going to start going to the gym, you want to start like getting stronger, you're not going to go in and do like a five hour workout. Right. Like that's not how it works. Like your body can't no. handle that. So it's important to think of the voice as the same thing. Like if you're learning, even if you have been singing for a while, but you're going to learn a new skill, just start, just do like you do your warm up, and then just work on it for like five, 10 minutes, that's yep. it. And then just leave it and just yep. stop singing. And maybe the next day or two days later, you go at it again. But Warm it's important to think cool of that. down just like an athlete. It is Absolutely. an athletic experience. Absolutely. It's definitely core. It's tons of core. It very sing. much is. And that's why people can sing long shows or operas and they're tired physically, but they're not hurt down, uh, uh, vocally. Yeah. Yes. And I think that I might even be helping you in the future, right? Yes, Tell me what sure. you're looking for with your voice and how we might start working together. This is fun. <laughs> I'm just really looking for some help being feeling more confident and being able to project more. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I've, I started singing lessons about a year ago and I've learned definitely a lot, but there's still lots for me to learn. So, Oh, yeah. I love that. There's still lots for me to learn. There's so many <laughs> yes, books I haven't me. read. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Jonah for a while. You know, I I really hope that we can uh, see that clip because I loved watching you in performance. There's something so exciting about you in performance. There's a energy that you exude with your 
it's not just youth, but it's uh, strength. You have the physical strength in your performing that I think is amazing. I actually see this sweet smile, and I thought I was going to get like in here. <laughs> I really did because of the way you play. And uh, let's just check with Jason. Do you think we can do that clip now? And Oh my goodness, see what I mean? There's this sort of, and I just love it. The energy, the, the subtext of angst, you know, it's very existential. I mean, I think you're talking for a lot of youth. And um, Jonah, what is it you're saying when you're performing with these people? It's a tough question, but what would you like to tell people of your age um, I think that when we're performing and when we present ourselves um, on stage, I think that we want to kind of show that young people can be powerful too. We can be like playing powerful. We can be showing ourselves that we're serious and mm -hmm. that we can be taken seriously. Absolutely. Um, so, That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And I think, well, you've all had that experience, whether um it's whatever genre of music that when i'm having a hard time i go listen to music that's also having a hard time if you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, I yeah i feel understood i feel like, sure. like i'm not alone i feel better and i feel like i can shake off whatever that was so yeah. i feel like you're really speaking for a lot of people and it's not just youth i think you've got a cross-generational audience for sure. Absolutely. And I love that about you guys. So the point of this show is the idea of revoicing somebody who might have been devoiced or someone who hasn't come into their voice. Do you know what I'm saying? For yeah. Sure. And yes. So I feel like if we have that calling, we will never run out of motivation, right? To see somebody who's maybe a uh, throat hurts or maybe they can't even be an artist because they just don't know yeah. uh, how to go forward and sometimes people even through the pan pandemic have lost their voices entirely emotionally as well as physically it's brutal but this idea of you guys looking after um those people around you that are listening to your music i just love that uh after this interview you have to dash away and uh, where are you going, Arya? Yeah, we're going to um, Peach Fest. It's in Penticton, I believe. And we're playing, um, yeah, uh, our set, I think. Yeah. Wow. What time? Three o'clock. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> worry about <laughs> it. We're all good. Is there anything else you guys wanted to say to your audience? I don't know. Just thank you so, so much for supporting us on this journey. Like, this is just the beginning. We have so yes. much more. <laughs> I can sense that. For sure. You guys, I wish you all the best. I'm going to come to one of your shows and stand right in the front and dance my face off and <laughs> bring you. all my people. Yes, Yay, that would be amazing. amazing. Yeah. I'd love to see, you to see what else you guys are going to bring to the public. You are just getting started. It's like just the beginning, and I can't wait to see how you guys grow Thank and mature. You. Thank, Thank you so, so much. <laughs> right? I mean, come on. Dang. And then also money. Money is nice for the musician. Right? <laughs> I want to thank Kelowna now and specifically Jason for producing this show. Um, I really appreciate the team here, Jim and Nikki and Alexa and all the, all the people here. Thank you so much for this opportunity to celebrate musicians and singers specifically. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't seem to find a use for my time, sit and stare behind. 
So 